We identify our flag with almost everything we hold dear on this earth. Peace, security, liberty, our family, our friends, our homes. But we must remember, as we look at our flag and see it emblazoned with our rights, that it is equally a symbol of our duties. All the glory we associate with it results from duty done. That's a quote from Calvin Coolidge about 100 years ago. Very appropriate for tonight as we celebrate the privilege of self-governance and the obligation to keep it by voting. Thank you all very much to be, for being here tonight to help celebrate this. The first person I'm going to thank is standing right next to me. In fact, I think they put my wife here just so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> thank you to my lovely wife, Suzanne. Thank you also to my children, Roscoe, Margo, and Eleanor. My family, my dad, and my brother and sister-in-law are here tonight, but I've got family all over the state and all over this country. Without family, I would not be able to do this, so I thank you all very much for your love and support. So thank you, honey. Sure. This election night is a culmination of two years of hard work by Republican campaigns and grassroots volunteers. Thank you all for what you have done. You've contributed your time, talent, and treasure. You've knocked doors, made phone calls, put up signs. Talked to your friends and family about the importance of conservative leadership. And you have fought to give us victory here tonight and help elect conservative Republicans across the state of Nebraska. And I feel with your help, we are on the cusp of taking back our country from the radical left. Now, every year you hear politicians or somebody get up and say, this is the most important election of our lifetime. There's a reason for that. The stakes get higher and higher. And that is certainly the case this year. We are at the most dangerous time in our country's history since World War II. We have a Biden-Harris administration whose reckless spending has contributed to a catastrophic debt, over $35 trillion. That's $266,000 for every household. Federal spending is up 55% in just five years. It's driven this runaway inflation. Nobody feels good about going to the grocery store. Grocery prices are up 22%. Electricity prices up 30%. Gasoline up 45%. It's squeezing our American families, causing them pain. The Biden-Harris administration has opened our southern borders. The Trump administration brought illegal crossings to a 45-year low. The Biden-Harris administration rushed to undo all the things that were successful, like building a wall, deporting people, the Remain in Mexico policy, supporting our Customs and Border Protection personnel. And because of that, Customs and Border Protection has intercepted over 10 million people trying to enter our country illegally, and that doesn't count the 2 million who succeeded in getting away from CBP. It's allowed to a catastrophe at our southern border, human trafficking, child trafficking, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, fentanyl pouring in, fentanyl the leading killer of our young people. The disastrous pullout of Afghanistan has made us look weak on the world stage and emboldened dictators to attack us and our allies. It's a very dangerous time. It's why I want to continue to serve Nebraskans and represent Nebraskans in Washington, D.C. Folks, we live in the best place in the world. 
we ought to be very grateful we live in Nebraska. Nebraska is what America is supposed to be. And we have a lot to offer the rest of the nation. We value our communities, families, our faith. We work together to solve our problems. We hold government accountable. We know the unlimited potential of the individual. Sadly, these values are slipping away in other parts of the country. But we can take what we do here in Nebraska to Washington, D.C. It's been the focus of what I've been doing for the last two years, bringing our proven Nebraska solutions ready for America, helping provide the solutions. When I was governor, we kept the growth of government to just 2.8 percent a year. We need to get back to a regular process in Washington, D.C. That system is so broken that we even haven't even passed our appropriations bills. We haven't passed all of our appropriations bills before the end of the fiscal year since 1997. That's why we have this runaway spending. We don't have a regular process. We need to secure the border. My Republican colleagues and I have, under, uh, have introduced a number of different bills that would get us building the wall again, make sure that we're enforcing our laws, and importantly, reintroducing the Remain in Mexico policy, which required people who are seeking asylum to remain in the first safe country, that's Mexico, and not be released into our country. We know how to solve these problems. In Nebraska, we support law enforcement and the military. My Republican colleagues and I have introduced bills like the Back to Blue Act and are trying to make sure that our military has the resources it needs to be able to defend our country. We've got a lot of work to do. I'm grateful to Nebraskans for giving me the opportunity to continue to serve. I appreciate that Nebraskans continue to have the confidence in me to serve you all in Washington, D.C. We will bring our Nebraska common sense, our grit, and our courage to fix the problems in Washington, D.C., to show the rest of the nation what we can do because we do it here in Nebraska. You all have fought for this. Thank you. I also need to thank my D.C. team because they have been so instrumental over the last two years as I've been working in Washington, D.C. Thank you to Matt Milberger, my Chief of Staff, Emil Briney, my Deputy Chief of Staff, Joanna Rodriguez, my Communications Director, Brad Stevens, our State Director. You all know Ian Swanson, too, in my Communications Department. Man, did I get a lot of hassle for taking him out of Nebraska. <laughs> People are like, why did you take Ian away from us on KFAB? <laughs> Thank you also to my campaign team. Jessica Flanagan, my chief strategist. Chris Nelson, my campaign manager. Jessica Shelburne, my deputy campaign manager. Daisy Nelson, political director. Will Coop, communications director. Matthew Trail, who is my media consultant. Jessica Cheesing, Jennifer Fulcher. Daniel Bass, Corbin Waldron. It always takes a team. And I've got a great team, and I appreciate all their efforts to get here. No matter how the election turns out tonight, the work is not done. The fight will continue to bring conservative leadership to Washington, D.C. With conservative leadership, we can get back on track. We can put the policies in place we know work because they have in the past. It doesn't happen without all your support. So thank you all again for all that you do for us. We could not do without you. I'm so grateful to have your support and Nebraskans across this state. I will continue to represent our values and our common sense and the solutions that we have here in our state in Washington, D.C. God bless you all. God bless Nebraska. And God bless America.